What is going on back today for you, my friends? Ever at Gaming Gear, another premiere a side episode on today, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. On today, we are journeying on here and back where we are left on uh, started. We'll be going by and connect the puzzle we'll be used to do because eventually it's uh, kind of short of cheeky puzzle, I can tell. But apparently, I kind of like figure out in my mind how you're going to go on in here and get the chat. So, right now, you want to use your stats to uh, bring it down before it spins closely. So we can go on ahead, open the chest, and problem solve because I know it's a particular um, tricky puzzle that I have not even officially concluded because apparently I just wanted to keep that in mind in case I were playing the game. I kind of figured out my head of using the stats right in case I wanted to go on uh, keep on trying again to get the uh, ancient core that I wanted to see what's inside the chest. But right now we are continuing another ancient core as we will take one. So let's refer to get back down until we get on back to the main control unit that we'll be going by activate. So that all the chests we uh, quickly lit up because we haven't get the, uh, the last chest that we saw in the other uh, end on the top where the other uh, waterfalls is. But right now we're not going to just worry about that right, just not right now. So eventually let's just go on ahead and run up and try like a little bit more so we can go on ahead and uh, connect the uh, Sheikah's Blade to the uh, Guiding Stone. So right now once you get to the main control unit you will not be able to re-enter the interior of the Divine Beast. Do you still want to activate? Oh yes. Let's activate it not right now. So, in case we're activating our Sheikah Slate, we might as well get out of here and uh, go on back to my game pad and scan on my Amiibo uh, front in our CD. Because of your courage, my spirit is now free. And Uta as well. Thank you. For I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. Mipha, Zora Champion. Okay. Here it comes. We're absorbing power here. Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time, my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. And as well, we say Hyrule. That's really important to that. So, exiting out, um, Ruta. We are getting his, um, another saving progress over here where the, uh, the flash of white screen is at. That we're not even looking at it because it's too boring that we're not supposed to be because there's, um, uh, not even a single tip that we're not reading. So, right now... Let me talk about this uh, for one second um, since we um getting this um, saving pocket to load. Because, okay, so here comes another question. We're not going to worry about that with later. So now we got here the uh, uh, Divine Beast is uh, lifting up. So what is it doing now? So it, it jumps. Okay, well. I saw that she gets down below. I might as well go on ahead and knock on to that one.
we found a way to be useful to Link and the other champions of Koth. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. Okay, so that's it. Yep, I think that's it. So that is the photo cutscene, and the, um, it's, it looks um, kind of beautiful. I can tell why Meepa is talking like that because basically she uh, lost her father, lost in his word, and uh, trusting him in her heart. But right now, here we have it. Back in Zora Domain, we are quickly going to get ahead and uh, continue our trial. So right now, we have here is the Meepa's Grace. So a restorative power born for the spirit of the champion Meepa. When your heart is run out, you'll automatically be res resurrected with full health plus temporary bonus hearts. Okay? Uh, we'll completely uh, take that. And you have here on course the bottom, uh, up here, over here, on, I mean on the top of the row, you guys can see we got only have one uh, left for this uh, Ruta uh, special skill that I'm still using. But we might not have the uh, conclusion to use it yet. But it, it can automatically restore some of your heart. That's why you read it in the description carefully since you are uh, looking at it. So, right now, here we have it. Back onto here. We're going to go on ahead and take a look at our Sheikah Slate real carefully. Because eventually, this is where we need to be in, uh, I think we're going on back to our chassis court that, that we need to be. So, let's just get on back to it by, uh, further ado, getting on talking to the king and uh, King Dorfra. Um, what is his name? Dorfra? Dorafa? I can't even pronounce his name. The last one. Okay, well, just to let you know, it, because we had to go on ahead and uh, report back to our uh, king, the last one, and uh, Sina Puzzle, and sooner uh, reporting it back to um, Siddhar and uh, Prince Siddhar and Muzu as well. So eventually, let's just go on back to it. By uh, touching the prince, let's just go on ahead and see what he had to say. So step into the uh, steps. Let's just go on ahead and uh, see what he had to say for my words. So here it comes. Link, you did well to survive your, ch uh, your child. I have been waiting for you to return. The violent downpour has disappeared as had the street uh, to your domain. It is all a little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, we are no longer in danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You appear for Divine Beast by Ruta and firstly save uh, your domain. We are all truly grateful what you did for us is more than we could have ever expected of you. Link, I must secretly apologize for my harsh uh, treatment of you. The whole time you were thinking of Hyrule and Lady Mipha well being just like the rest of us. All of the members of our council humbly spoke uh, to foul or, or thank back in gratitude along with the rest of our people. Perhaps the older uh, generation as well as myself included misunderstood Hyrule after all. It would seem so. But I said I would be overjoyed if you could find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, uh, then perhaps uh, one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now, then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside the chest over there. It was cherished by me for a memento of shorts. I would like you to have it as a token of my uh, friendship. Please take good care of it. By the way, Link, I see you are without uh, your rusty blade or soil with that seal of the darkness. You have to lose it when the, you lost your memory. I kind of did. Uh, what kind of sword? Hmm. So you have forgotten that as well. This is a legendary blade that only you, the Highland Champion, can wield. I expected it was awaiting on uh, your return while you slept, resting in the sacred forest of your from such. Okay, thank all of the, all of the Zora. Thank you from the depth of your hearts for the heroic and selfless, selfless work. Okay. So and you too, sit on. 
As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the divine beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know you will be able to uh, work the higher when your time comes. Uh. Father, I thank you. The heavy rain has stopped and the divine beast is on alley once again. How glorious that uh, truly splendid. Whoa! Link, this is wonderful! Okay. Oh my god, a strong grip. Okay, heartwarming. Link, thank you so much, truly. I could never thank you enough. You helped save our home from vanishing away. This call for a top tired expression of gratitude. Zolzolororor! With all of my heart, thank you. Okay, so yeah, all true people are cheering on for me. We got, I'm already on um, a hero of Zord domain now, so I've quickly done it. So, celebration is over. We are uh, completely completed uh, by uh, restoring the uh, Baruta heart of the Divine Beast. So, now let's go ahead and pick up the chest to see what we got inside. So, new uh, weapon we picked up so far the Light Scale Trident. So, it, it's increased up to uh, 32 out of 22. And a uh, spirit of peerless uh, grace uh, children by the Zorja champion Mipha. Although Mipha specializes healing ability, her spearmanship was in the class of uh, all its own. Okay, well, eventually we'll go on ahead and not pretend that. And without further ado, I want to go ahead and uh, solve some quests around here in the Zorja domain. So, since we're doing that, let me go ahead back to my, uh, to the, my uh, log. So, eventually we're going to go ahead and um, take a look what we what, what we do around here. So we got two more of Zord Domain that we need to go ahead and do. So eventually, let me go ahead and see. So we got Luminous Stone. We got uh, what is here? So all these are completed. So now we have to go ahead and uh, solve all these um qu side quests that we didn't do. So right now, let me go ahead and uh, lock on this quest for uh, Laugh Lab. I want to go ahead and uh, quest her because she asked me to go on uh, fur up high up to the um to map. What is it? Polymus uh, Mountain? That, that's what it's called, okay? Because we have to go up to Polymus Mountain to physically reach up there. Because I might as well put a stamp about. Yeah, just about. Hold on, let's delete the stamp. We're gonna delete that, and we're gonna go on ahead and find it just about this session because we did not a clue where the. Uh, I'll put it at bow nails. We might as well take that. But I wanna go back and physically find that. Uh, the now um, a picture of frame. That's why I'm not gonna put the. Uh, Team because eventually this is um, a lot more view around the quite to do so eventually let's go on ahead and continue around, uh, on top of the shell and find it so hopefully this, there's still a lot more spawn around here so let's just go on ahead and uh, see where some memory that we can go on ahead and solve because eventually these are waterfalls and I don't think there's that is uh, the same picture frame of memory so now we got the frame to stop so now we can go ahead and climb with everything we want around here so eventually let's just go on ahead and um Keep it to you all along. So, for ado, since we have a, uh, uh, no, I don't want to die. Got, now, so now, in case we have a Zord uh, armor, I might as well go ahead and uh, swim back up to the waterfall. So, let me go ahead and give that for a try. So, see how it works. So, can you possibly swim up to the waterfall? So, let's just see. So, we, we can press, press A to swim. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, now I can potentially uh, swim higher up to the uh, waterfalls. So let's just do the same thing for the second one. And uh, quick announcement: what I want to say to you guys that I pretty much um, pre-ordered this uh, game called um, Hey Pitman on the uh, 3DS that I want to go ahead and uh, play. Because I'm pretty much back in my uh, childhood lifetime. Really, I uh, like to play more of Pitman and being back on time. Because I officially have three um, Pitman games that I get to play. One, I have it on the Nintendo eShop, and two, and the third, on the, on the third uh, Pitman, I played it since I have it for Christmas. And it's back in my memory um, spot. It's um, back to memory, man. I really, in my childhood, love playing that game. So I love playing Hitman 3. The, uh, the fact of the, uh, the background, the concept, it looks pretty cool. But I might as well take a look at the concept of the Hey Pitman uh, version of the 3DS. I might as well uh, pull it up in my, back in my channel and get ready to do that. So without further ado, here we have it. So we have not a clue what this place is. But further ado, we, we're trying to go ahead and uh, keep exploring around and see what kind of... Uh, Solving puzzle stuff with the nine fifty scene. So without further ado, we can go ahead uh, down here and we can go ahead and pick up some more Highland Herb. But before we do that, let me go ahead and switch on um, back to my uh, amiibo so we can go ahead and uh, 
you get some more of those stuff you need. So let's just go ahead and uh, get so a lot more amiibos as fresh as you can get. So right now I'm going to start off by uh, getting a lot more amiibos I can. So but just about now, let me go ahead and uh, collect all the food and continue to get on going. So who's blowing that whistle? Okay, this is not good. So let me switch that back to my camera just in case we spot it more trouble. So there's a mob over there we can't go and mess up or mess, mess around with. So right now let's just get to going this way so we can uh, see what's uh, around this place. So eventually, looking like this dude, we got more of those uh, electric choo-choo jellies that we need to watch out. So switching back with uh, arrow, we're going to go ahead and attack them. We might as well taste more of those guys. So right now, let's just go ahead and uh, pretend more of those uh, yellow choo-choo jelly that we seriously can get. So hopefully let's just go ahead and uh, find out what's around this place. So I see there's a shrine, and I don't think this is a uh, where is exactly full of mountains. So what is that? Uh, just asked me to go. So the nearest one she no knows of it on Pullman Mountain because we have not. This is supposed to be Pullman Mountain, or is it not? Okay, we'll find Pullman Mountain later because right now I want to go ahead and knock onto the shrine that we think we've seen the custom since we are. Uh, Saw the uh the custom uh Val Ruta that the quickly marching on and to uh quickly free himself by his uh curse. But right now here we have it. So now it's gonna be another storm, so I gotta hurry up before it storms pretty bad. No! Don't you no! It better not save this game! Come on game! You stop giving me rain! I'm so close to the shrine! Come on now, okay we got we can make it, we can make it. Okay, let's let's our stamina. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay, so no more thunderstorm. Okay, no more. Let's make sure I don't lose all my uh, yellow choo choo jelly, jelly that I typically confront. But right now, let's just go on ahead to the shrine as soon as possible. What is your name, shrine, my friend? What do you call? So take a look at around. Let's just see what the name of the shrine is. So just take a look. So this is uh Da Hishu Hishio Shrine. Okay. So right now, going to Da Hishio Shrine. We're gonna go on ahead and skip that. And further ado, let's just get on down below it and the examine and keep skipping it again so we can uh, quickly see what tip they got. So, monster on the lockout in the watchtower will sound the alarm if they spot you. Defeat these foes first block. Well, I can't read that fast because eventually the custom going to keep on skipping on that fast. So, right now, let's just skip it again. And without further ado, a minor test of the strength. Okay, here we have it. So right now, let's go look around and see what kind of, okay, so I see it's going to be another uh, mini boss uh, in the shrine, so what is it going to be? So over here we have it, so another guardian um, guy we are simply uh, confronted, so man, he's holding a master spear, guardian. he's holding a guardian spear master, that's no freaking joke. Okay, well, alright, so we gotta go on and uh, step back. So we got a scimitar, so we're going to go ahead and quit some now, because I don't want to go ahead and waste a scimitar. I might as well go ahead and use the lightning rod. I might as well go and use that. Actually, you know what? Let me try going on with... Yeah, let's go with the lightning rod. I don't mind wasting uh, 522 of my life skill trying to might as well not waste that. So, let's just stick with that. And without further ado, we can go ahead and uh, use that to uh, tap this uh, battle um Whatever it is. Okay, this uh, guardian guy that wanted to go in and quickly attack me. But we're going to take the cover. And we're going to go ahead and uh, keep attacking. So right now, let me go ahead and smack it. So he's going to stay electrocuted. So right now, I'm almost got halfway um, getting critical damage on my lightning rod. So right now, let's just go ahead and keep, keep taking the cover. We're going to start the spin attack. And third, let's just go ahead and keep attacking. So right now, we're going to keep on... Okay, right now, I waste that sword. So then, so let's just go use a silver uh, long sword. I don't mind wasting one. Let's just go ahead and take it around. Okay, so right now, let me go ahead and uh, put, put it away. Okay, wait, hold up, what is he doing now? Oh my god, that's no good. Oh man, no joke, gang. Let's go ahead and use... I don't know, we go in here and use... Okay, fire. Uh, I'll bet with fire. Let's go ahead and use that. So, we're gonna go ahead and keep shooting fire at it. I don't mind the tough off the defeat, but right now he's almost done. So, first dude, let's just try it again. So, he's gonna start to uh, spin around. Okay, so now you're going to start using lasers. Oh my god, no, 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 laser. Oh, okay, close call, close call, get the cover, get the cover. You're going to come and strike me. Okay, that's good. Oh, shoot, no. Call, dude, chill, chill. Cool it. Jeez, come on. Dude. 
Are you nuts right now? What? What in exactly did he strike me that easily? Okay, you know what? I don't see why not. I'm gonna waste uh, one of this uh, roasted bass. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and eat more apple. I mean, like, seriously, he owed me that good. Okay, that's enough. He's almost done. Come on, Link. I'm gonna rock him out. Oh, jeez, he is not that good. He's still only me. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill him. Okay, I'm pretty upset today. I'm not doing the best, you guys. I'm just saying because this is, this is something to a tough boss. And he's not pretty easy to stop, but I'm gonna wait to him of this uh, raw meat. And more Russian, of course. Let's just go ahead and eat more. Man, dude, chill. Okay, look, we apologize. We apologize. Okay, now he's gonna keep striking. That's not good. So come on now, I need to find his weak spot because he's basically he's still charging me. Okay, let's just go run this diagonal. Okay, so let's go. Hurry up and charge. So all you gotta do is keep running, making sure you don't strike you. So let's just go ahead and keep killing him. Jeez, he's almost done because I'm so hardcore wasting hearts. So that's no joke. So we almost got nine hearts to defend ourselves because we don't want to go in here and keep wasting our more uh, stamina. Uh, that's all, but we really don't want to go in here and waste. So now uh, we got here, what's the sword called anyway? I cannot uh, remember, so this is the agent battle ad, so I officially do not even remember it. So right now, in, in, inside our memories, we're gonna go on ahead and uh, continue going and uh, fifty continue another spirit orb that we saw in the shrine. And before we do that, let's just go on ahead and uh, take a look at what this is inside the sh uh, chest. So take a look inside, we got here the giant agent core, wow! I know we can at least take one because that would make, uh, we can sell us a lot more rubies than this, okay? So, a giant engine crystal may use the lost energy technology. Cores this large are an extremely rare find. A researcher will probably know how to use this. Okay, well, eventually we might well take one and come in useful since we want to go ahead and sell us a lot more rubies up. So, let's just go ahead and uh, unlock this uh, engine mystery shield. Mr. Mirror, mystery man, I cannot tell who you are, but right now, give me that spirit orb I made and let you get out of here. So, just not to worry, let's just go on ahead and uh, skip this already. And let's just get on back, starting on to our next journey adventure. Because I know I'm in, uh, almost halfway on a waste of one of my, uh, the, all the, uh, the, the ability of using all the divine beasts, uh, special ability that I want to go on ahead and wait, but I really don't have the time to do that. I really don't. So... I might as well go in and waste one of uh, Bob the Boy's special ability, but I might as well not go in here and waste one. I, I rather not do. So if it's a shrine up ahead, we cannot tell how to get there because it's too far. So we're not going to try to go in and reach back up there to uh, get to the next shrine. So we got the first shrine already uh, knocked off on, so eventually I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue moving this way. So we can quickly get, uh, get along, um, moving a lot more faster than we can, start, we can get. Because it's going to do um, a lot more landing and stuff around uh, all this uh, waterfall that looks pretty huge because the game looks pretty big. And I really love the fact of how Lane can do around here is to go on ahead and uh, kill all the monsters that is uh, all around the highway because that's a lot of landing stuff to do. And hopefully, we're going to go on ahead and uh, continue going ahead because this is the bridge that will take us to. So this is East uh, Sokala Bridge. Or as we call it, the Shikola, that's where this land. Okay, man, I don't want to mess up with this dude. This guy got a, uh, a katana blade that I think he's going to go ahead and kill me. So, right now, let's just get back to it. So, right now, I see this waterfall. We can uh, escape there. And he better not halfway kill me because I don't have enough stamina to go on ahead and run freely. So, let's just try to do this. We can go ahead and uh, rest a little bit more. And now we can go ahead and uh, dive down here and get to the waterfall. That might might as well help. Actually, you know what? I might I might as well not make it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and dash. So further ado, there are still uh, rocks we can go ahead and uh, destroy because it might as well get us some more of a luminous stone that we need to go ahead and uh, obtain. So let's just further ado, go ahead and waste one because I waste all the silver long so I won't, nah we won't need that, that anymore. So let's just go ahead and use the agent battle axe. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, destroy that. We got another ember. We'll take one. 
And let's just check around this place. So there's still more to, uh, to collect. So more ember, more flint. And for the let's go ahead and keep destroying guys. And another topaz? Really? Game? Alright, thank you for that uh, topaz. So uh, I really appreciate that. So might as well save six more flint to go ahead and uh, to Barula Town. Talk to the Idja to go ahead and uh, upgrade our flint to give us something that we need for our special ability. So if we go on and uh, try to go and w waste one of this um, cobalt that we quickly want to go ahead and um, upgrade our earrings, that might well uh, help. I'm not even super sure about this game, but just right now, let's just continue this way and further do. But, uh, so uh, I see there's a huge volcano up there. And what this tower? Anyway, what is exactly? Oh my god, what? What is that? Hold up, hold up. I didn't get you. I didn't get you. Who are you? A fiery keys? A uh, fire keys. Okay, well, eventually I now you see you, but you are something else. So let me try to draw, draw my arrows just to cool it. So we're gonna fool these guys and just take them out of nowhere. And we got here the fire key win. A rare fire key win. This isn't enough fire keys attached to it to burn you, but it does have a slight, slight warmth to it. It can be used as an ingredient for a light. So okay, well we'll take more of that. And I'm back to back and I'm officially being a uh, therapist of uh, taking my time to bleed skills uh, activity just right now. So just to keep, um, keep you guys can hear me out, I'm just trying to uh, be a lot more slippery and the stealth of reading my uh, skill, okay? Just to be sure I read right and know all the words of what I had to say. But just about now, let's just go and further reach up there because eventually, let me try to get back to, uh, to the shot that I see. Because uh, we know we can't go back there to the route we already gotten so far. But to continue on, I want to go up to the mountain. So let's just travel back to where we are. So I will see you guys. Uh, just look at it. Alright, you guys. Apparently, I uh, officially wanted to go ahead and pick up something else. Because uh, hopefully, I saw it down below because there's another uh, sound we can go ahead and pick up. Because I think this is where we split here. Because I probably wanted to go ahead and uh, collect a lot more stuff around here. But I cannot tell which direction to reach up to pull him in the mountain because it's hard to suggest because I had to go around this area. So that's where uh, pull him in the mountain is at because we have to keep going this way by uh, fit using uh, Zora armor to go on to waterfalls so we can uh, fit this swim up to the surface as soon as possible. So let's just try to do this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fit this try to swim up up by uh, fit this, uh, avoid getting away from the uh, So we're going to swim upwards. And we're going to go on ahead and um, boost up a, a lot more higher so we can uh, get our back up here. So without further ado, let's just go on ahead on to the next uh, waterfall. And let's just go on ahead and uh, keep surfing up. No, I don't meant climbing, I meant surfing. So we're going to uh, surf back up there and uh, quickly go on back to it. I'm trying to figure out how to get the pulling mountain because it's hard to just how to do it. But Right now, let's just go and quickly climb back up to this area where the rock cliffs are at. So eventually, let's just get on back to it. And with the, wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't get you. Listen, come back here. Okay, well, Lizard is so hard to catch this guy. I cannot tell because he's really too shy not to come uh, to uh, attach me. But just about now, let's just get on focusing on climbing up there and um, get on back to uh, questing. And for ado, let's just try to boost up a little bit more so we can uh, rest our stamina a, like, uh, a little bit a lot more uh, quicker than we uh, quickly take on a deep breather in this land. But right now, I cannot tell because a little bit a lot more air than I could suppose. Because I mentioned that I see the Fahrenheit taking down uh, a little bit lower in the temperature. So we might as well, if it gets too cold, we might as well switch our gear. So eventually, we're going to try to uh, quickly be uh, the stealth. I'm not quickly wasting uh, a lot of time on heart. So, we really don't, did not have the time for that. So, just about now, let's just go on ahead and uh, take a look around this place and uh, see where the uh, Pullman Mountains is. So, I have no idea where Pullman Mountain is at because I might as well keep on exploring around and see where it's uh, between. Because there's a Kurd mo Moblin we don't have nowhere to fight. So, if Kurd Moblin want to mess with me, that's okay. I might as well take that to a critical fight. So, where exactly do I officially see where... So, wait, hold up. So now I could use the R stick to zoom around and uh, I think we see where Pull Up Mountain is. Okay, so now we are down here. We can go ahead and look at the word. So this is Toto, uh, to Tutu Lake. That's what it's called. I'm not if we pronounce it right, but this is Upland uh, Zarea. That's where uh, she asked me about finding Mortal Flint. 
Okay, so I was basically going the wrong direction. So we have to go back down this spot. So let's put a stamp about this session where it's, uh, let's put, uh, about this, uh, sword over here. We might as well put the sword there. And we're going to continue going back here. We got, I was definitely going the wrong way. I'm, I apologize for that, you guys. So I wasn't paying attention to what the map was supposed to go. But, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, keep going out in charge. But it will take me weeks to get up there to uh, get to Parliament Mountain. But I officially, I'll be splitting up ahead where I officially get up to uh, Parliament Mountain where we officially uh, locate the uh, line now. Uh, but we are not even uh, looking at it because eventually it's the, uh, the line nail um, picture that we don't know what it is. But just right now, let's just try it, uh, splitting that again and let's just continue on searching for it. So just about now, see you guys right ahead. Okay, so this is it. So right now we're still searching the area. And what is that area? Oh, this is a shock arrow. And there is a, a creep guy that basically just slayed me already. So we have to fight him? There's no way we're fighting that dude. Okay, I didn't get his picture, so let me try to go ahead and snap a picture of him. So I believe he has the uh the, the light lamp we already took. So right now let's get out of here. So we all took a picture, let's go and report back to- No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here, dude! He's right where he's at! Oh my god, I'm not doing the stealth of fishing sneaky, but right now let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! I'm- I'm not gonna fight this guy! I'm not gonna fight this guy! Get out of here! Gee, now we're out of here! Okay, well that was a close one. We definitely got on. And we he, we got spotted and we're not physically attacked because we almost saved that progress. Just make sure we're not losing our uh, heart. So we're not gonna quickly go on ahead and attack this dude. If physically if we have a lot of heart, a lot of stamina to go ahead and run freely, we might as well um get a lot more if we can get. Because uh, I don't see that Zoe Domain had a prey where we can go ahead and uh, contain more hearts or stamina. But right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, paraglide and go in and reporting back to uh what this lady name I don't know. But here we are, back in here, um, Zoe Domain. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, see where she at. By following into our next entry point, uh, expedition point, I mean. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, go down a little bit more and, um, not waste, uh, a little bit of time on stamina. So here she, no, that's not her. Okay, well, what, I think it, it, it is her, so let me see, so, hmm. Good morning, Link. How are the line of mission coming along? I have your picture. Oh, wow, please show me. Okay, so we're showing the picture. Uh, what? Um, <laughs> apology. That sound was not very delified. What is it? Uh, but pardon me, me. I all better now. That light all how well, terrifying. One look at this, and I doubt anyone will get any reckless idea about visiting Parliament Mountain. Okay. Thank you. I'll tell the children of the on the main about this. Maybe that will scare them away from the mountain. All right, now you are uh, now for your reward. Okay, so now he's giving me here a Zoa Greaves. A uh, Graves, that's what I'm not um, pronouncing. So, right now it says two out of three. And it can speed up swims. Um, it can speed up the swim, okay? Uh, that's pretty interesting. So, it says on the description, these uh, graves uh, have been passed down among the Zoa for generations. It's been a save that it's crafted uh, using dragon skills. Equipment to swim faster. Okay, so now we have the uh, identity to go ahead and equip that. So we can get rid of the uh, the, the, the pants, uh, the, the armor pants, but we can go ahead and uh, take off. So just about now, let's go ahead to our inventory and equip that. So here we have it, the new uh, Zoe Gra Graves. We're going to go ahead and uh, equip it just about now. And now look, you can tell, look at the uh, the concept of uh, Zoe Graves. Because eventually, you guys can see, look at the silver boots. It looks pretty neat, and I pretty much love that. And yeah, it pretty much matched it uh, matched perfectly because I really love that um set in the lint because I like the um the earrings of the uh, topaz that I quickly I got upgrade by uh, using the flint that it just, just built one for me because eventually I want to keep that on because that looks good on me so we might as well keep that in the future so let's just return and let's just go back to it so these Zoe Graves uh, were once made by skilled craftsmen um, by order of the, an agent Zoe King. Now they're fairly um, com common. As you may know, East uh, Reservoir Lake was created in a col collaboration between Hylian and Mizora. 
at the eat back tomorrow late was finished we they saw grab as a token of friendship for Hylian who came to visit. But with time a number of Hylian had visited the domain well and um Dwinnell, uh, and my father had to close his on the shop. These Zoy uh, grabs uh, were, were uh, here were the last pair left in the stop room when we closed up shop. Wendy's even a Highland can swim as well as a Zoy. That said, these w would be wasted on me. They are only useful for a Highland like you. Please take good care of them. Okay, so help me out, dude. So we quickly completed her quest. So now we can simply go ahead and um, knock on each and every one of those quests. So, just about now, let me go ahead and uh, take a look at our adventure log. Let me see what kind of quest that we can go ahead and solve that. So, let's just see. So, I want to go ahead and um, knock on this uh, last uh, quest on Zora Domain for uh, Leto. Because we had to go on to the Uplands of Reno to, uh, pretty, to get m more of this uh, luminous stone that is typically there. So, we're going to go on ahead and um, going on back to here is uh, Uplands of Reno. We might as well go on and chat that expedition point and we're gonna go on and simply call back and we're gonna put a stamp about this um session where we want to be on it so right about there but we're not gonna physically put that stamp where we want to be on not right now okay so we want to leave that thing on just about this entry point so we're gonna call back and we'll officially continue when we pick up by going to upload Zarena on the next episode you guys so thank you guys so much for staying tuned on my um, channel. If you are ever tested enjoying this episode, just right now, I'll ever tested like the episode, share it to a friend, and subscribe, and our goals up. We help me start support our goals up to 119 to 130 subscribers, and uh, if you can participate or support the channel as well, in the description below, make sure you follow the uh, tips that help you start a video by following me on Google, Twitter, and Patreon. It's really important that you guys are supporting my channel in case you are watching this. In case you get your buddy to uh, share it to uh, Google, uh, some of your buddies are uh, supposed to be going ahead and switch to Twitter. Because that is really much more important for you guys to uh, simply stay ever to the end of my channel and simply watching it by uh, getting me like uh, a lot more than 5 likes, okay? Just making sure we uh, ever have to uh, reach up to 5 likes. That's really much more important, okay? So, uh, love you guys. And do not forget to get um, getting a lot more than 11,000 views. That's really uh, much more important on my channel. It gets you guys are growing uh, up more in the, in the future. So, just make sure you're doing that. And uh, for the love you guys. So, um, nothing to say. If you are new to my channel, just right now, go on and ever to subscribe me and hit that like button. And if you missed the last few episodes, you're not here. Do not forget to go on and check that one out in my lesson time and watch that. And we'll talk to you guys later on tomorrow. The lessons are the best of all. Take care, you guys, and we'll talk to you guys next episode.